Hi there! Wanna try something unique? I guarantee you this incredibly luscious fig tart doesn't come anywhere close to the best pie you have tried. This is the real deal. <laughs> to make this succulent tart, you need sweet pastry crust, hazelnut cream, about 3 pounds of ripe figs, and a little bit of love. Let's get started. To make your sweet pastry crust by hand, very simple. First, you gotta scrape out the seed of one vanilla bean. Then beat the softened butter with salt. Add sugar and vanilla and beat until light and fluffy. Add the egg and beat until incorporated. Remember, your butter must be very soft, but never melted. Using a spatula now, incorporate the flour in two times and mix just until it forms a ball. Wrap it up and refrigerate for a couple of hours or until firm. And once chilled, I am going to show you how to roll it. To make one tart, you will need two-thirds of the dough. Save any excess dough with remaining pastry for your next pie. Dust your work surface with flour and work the pastry until pliable and flatten the dough into a 1/8 inch 3 mm thick disc. The dough should always be cool. If it begins to get sticky, freeze for a few minutes. Evenly pat onto the bottom and up the sides of the tart pan and trim off excess dough, prick and refrigerate. Not to mention that uh, if you have a busy schedule, you can always make those star shells uh, in advance and keep them in a refrigerator or even freeze them for weeks. For the hazelnut cream, process nuts and sugars until fine. Add chilled and cubed butter and pulse until fluffy. Add the chilled egg and pulse until light and fluffy. Meanwhile, Chop pecans or walnuts coarsely, add the filling and sprinkle nuts over the hazelnut cream, and bake for about 35 minutes. Yes, without the figs. Now, we are going to take care of the most luscious fruits. Rinse figs carefully under cold water and trim off tops and bottoms. For the marmalade, Dice one-third of the figs and cook them over medium heat for about 10 minutes and let cool. Meanwhile, roast remaining figs for about 5 minutes at 375 degrees. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna spray this beautiful marmalade on top of the pie. Oh my! This is insane. Next, simply arrange roasted figs and fresh raspberries. I am Bruno Albuz. Thank you for watching this episode. And don't forget to subscribe.